Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Victoria Free. I am so excited to continue this, so I'm just gonna record one more episode straight away. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed the first episode and um, are back now to see the second one. So, we kind of left it on a bit of a cliffhanger where we're gonna invade Denmark, hopefully grab some resources from them. Uh, otherwise, we are just beginning our industrial journey and, of course, our journey of... Um, well, colonizing some of Africa, and first of all, we are, have also been focusing quite a bit on researching the medicine against malaria, so our colonies will flourish and expand a lot faster than the major nations, but they have a massive advantage, so we'll see how much we're gonna get from here, and of course, later from the rest of the world. So, let's see, and uh, let's begin with war with Denmark, yes or no. Right now, it's gonna be Holstein, it's gonna be Schleswig, it's gonna be Denmark. Of course, more nations might join. Um, I'm hoping on not, but uh, I'm still gonna risk it. Uh, we're gonna go into our budget now, we're gonna prioritize military wages uh, quite a bit. So, we're gonna build with one thing. Actually, we're gonna try to build as much as possible, but we're gonna prioritize military wages so we have a bonus in armor power projections instead of a negative. And it also gives them a slight bit more morale. I think 10%, 20% morale recovery. So my troops will always hopefully be fresh when it's time to fight. So what kind of general do we have right now? Defensive strategies and romantic. Minus 10% morale. Oh, no, 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 not promote. What, we, what I was thinking about is if we can fire him. Doesn't look actually like we can. That's too bad. I thought we could fire people left, right, and center. Oh no, right high. Yes, we can. Minus one in interest. Uh, they are plus 12. So yes, we can very much retire this person. Uh, I, wait, wait, let's wait for this. Let's do this. Can we actually get a better one? Uh, innovative. Nice. Traditionalist. Uh, don't care too much. Innovative, traditional, diplomat. Pious. Uh, at, least, at least this is better. Armed forces as well, so we will recruit this guy. Uh, maybe we should keep both of them, actually. What kind of navy do you have, Denmark? What kind of navy? Eight. So hopefully my navy should be able to beat you. Ambitious, expert, alcoholic. Doesn't, doesn't matter too much. Really good. Pretty good. Okay, so... so Yes, we're going to keep both of them. So we can, might be able to naval invade them. It all really depends on... Well, if anyone else joins in this. Uh, we are only, I think, going to focus on taking down the main heartland. Welland, that is. Right? Welland? Sealand. Oh, well, uh, Sealand probably in English. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, just a tiny bit. It's just slightly expanding a bit. We don't really need anything from them. But um, as a Swede, I feel like I have a duty to beat down Sweden. Beat down Denmark. I beat down myself. I guess that's the taxes. So we are going to justify this war. And now, a bit slowly. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, actually, we're going to do that too. Uh, Danish war operation. Oh, you, you just want to humiliate me. I am perfectly fine with this if nobody involves himself. Swaying, nobody. It, like, I'm going to be very peaceful. I don't want to go too hard on adding more war goals and more parts from Denmark. If it can just be me versus them, I would be very happy about that. Let's try to wait with mobilizing just a bit. Of course, Austria sided with them. But Austria can't reach them. I can mobilize Prussia to my side. 1.2, Prussia has 1.1. I think we're going to ask Prussia to help our side. Of course, just doing a tiny little war against a little Dane or two. Of course, everyone joins in for this. Hello, uh, what do you want, Prussia? Offer conquer state, transferable subject. What do you want? You want Schleswig Holstein or... Yeah, I would, I would be fine with giving you that. But what gives the very least? Let's see, that's 17. And if I would... Uh, let's see... If I would offer transfer subject, that's better. So I'm going to offer to offer them Schleswig. Here we go. Join me. Join me, Prussia. Very nice. Thank you. 
Can I? Oh, I can ask the UK as well. What do you want? You, of course, just want to make puppets or dominions. Oh, you want all of Denmark. No, if I... If I have to, I will. But I'll... Rather not. And when I think about it... I could go a bit mad. At the very last second. Let's see. I don't want to reach 25. So we could take this. We could take Slash Read Holstein. Or should I just go for 25? It, it It's probably going to be fine. All right. All right. All right. Right. Uh, we're going to do like this. Um, mobilize everyone. Very important. Uh, both of you are going to go aggressively on this front. Thank you. And we are going to... Let's let's think about this. Let's think about this. Uh, we're going to wait until the very last second before we add this. Very last second before we add the next war. We have also Norway with us. Very good. Uh, Industrialist. I want you to be more happy. So let's... Well, let's ignore the rural folk. There we go. It is going to get... So basically, when you add another goal in a war... I don't know if I, even if I need to explain it. Maybe you watched... Victoria Free content before or played it yourself. But um, I I'm going to try to keep kind of the same kind of style of um, talking and gameplay like I did before. Might be a bit different, but uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to reply to it. But when you add a new war goal, uh, it adds like five days to the timer before, well, escalation happens and, well, until the last phase of the ex escalation happens and you can't add anything more, you can't join the war or anything like that. I like to wait until the very last second because it feels like... It feels like it's better. <laughs> Maneuvering is paused for five days, exactly. It feels like it's a larger chance of nobody joining. There we go, very good. We managed to get that extra war goal and um, they can't do anything about it. You can add the secondary goals as primary as well, but as you can see, it's increasing the infamy as well. Um, having something as a primary war goal is if they, Denmark now suddenly would say, all right, we give up, just take what you want, then you get all the primary war goals. And why do you have suddenly more than me here? Because Austria is joining them on their side. Should we maybe just defend? Well, we're going to do like this. Um, we are going to uh, escort convoy, raid convoy. We're going to do raid convoy right there. Try to stop them. And uh, let's see. Austria right there. Can we get any more men? Maybe we should have built a few more men. I'm a bit worried right now. But um, let's hope this works. <laughs> All right. War with Denmark has begun. We have slightly better stats. Just slightly. Oh, that's a massive Austrian army. And we are getting screwed, at least while attacking. Absolutely destroyed. That's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, oh, Gotland isn't feeling very good. Gotland, how are, how are you? You have a port. It's a proper port to so actually get your stuff. Uh, I'm going to build a fishing house for you. Fishing wharves. Uh, let's actually prioritize that just a tiny bit. Not too much, but a tiny bit. Uh, wait, do we have Prussians now on our side? Um, well, not in the current war, but yeah, Prussia sent some troops for us. Very good, very good. And hopefully Prussia's gonna win this war. Uh, doesn't look like it. But they can defend quite well with good odds, so we'll see how this works out. Maybe I should have invited the um, UK as well. And of course, we have a massive goddamn fleet of Austrians here as well. How How is even Austria reaching the Baltic Sea? Like, around this entire thing? Probably, but... And then the... Ugh, everyone loses here. Uh, Prussia beating the crap out of the Austrian advance right there. Very good. Just we, we just have to sit back and relax. And I think we're going to win this. We just need to hold out for a while. We're still earning a tiny bit of money. We're still building our, up our economy. So if we win this, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And our infamy is now down from 25. If we have above 25, when we take something, we get more radicals. And I would like to avoid getting more radicals now. So we once again defend against that attack. And now when we're attacking, we're getting slaughtered. Okay, let's do like this. Let's wait for a bit. Let's relax and just defend for a while. Just really take it easy and not worry too much about invading them. 
If we can, then uh, we're gonna naval invade... Actually, we're gonna naval invade him. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna defend with one of these guys. And as soon as you're done with this um, attack, that's failing quite, um, quite um, hard. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do this. Escort, not escort, come on. Naval invasion. And you're gonna naval invade these guys. And you take Alex from that. Very cool. Let's hope that nobody pulls away now. And yeah, that's just Norway attack. Yeah, that's Denmark attacking Norway. And we're defending properly against it. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Let's hope that we can naval invade this. Waiting for Prepare's Force. It's going to take a couple of weeks. That's fine by me. Uh, how are we doing with military goods? We're actually fine. Uh, why, why? Oh, right. Norway needs it. God damn it, Norway. You have actually upgraded your troops. We should probably actually have done that before we started this war, but we can sort it out. Never upgrade troops during war, though. Just, like, terrible penalties. That's just going to be very, very harsh. Um, speaking, actually, of, please do this, please do this, please do that. And that's going to massively skyrocket our economy. It's going to be beautiful. So, get workers hired right now. We are really, really going to need them. Uh, what else were we going to do? Yes, I was going to build an ammunition factory. Because it, well, you, since we have allies, we might be able to defend while our troops are getting upgraded. But, um, we'll see about that. And nice, our naval invasion is going to go fine just because, well, oh wait, shit. Are we actually not going to get there in time? Even though we naval invaded? Oh, we just pushed through. Ah, oh, shit. Now Austria signed all of their troops right there. Uh, I was really hoping a quick win. Wow. Austria really just smacked them. Smacked Prussia hard. Let's see. Are they going to give up soon, though? No, they're really, really not. They're really, really not. We could give up Norway to them. They are very close to actually accepting that. I want to see what happens if we just defend for a while. They are pushed in now quite hard. And it's going to be very hard for us to defend. Well, we are now defending at least. These guys were pushed back instantly. <laughs> Not surprising, honestly. But we might be able to de literally defend there almost forever. So let's chill there for a while and see if we can turn that around. It would be pretty pretty funny if we can turn it around, but um, uh, we might have to just uh, begin this entire thing by losing a war against Denmark. It, it hurts just saying it out loud, but um, well, it at least makes the entire thing interesting where we have to come back from the sadness and destruction with some uh, revanchism, right? Uh, so everyone defend here, please. Just chill, take it easy, wear them out. So we can actually give that up to them right now. But that's actually ticking down really quickly. So we might be able to just hold on until they want a white piece. If I can do that, I am definitely gonna do it. Yeah, we are demolishing them in defense. Very nice. Oh, that's great, that's great. We are, we are so gonna do this. We are so gonna do this. Uh, very, very nice. Alright, what else could we potentially do? Well, I would like to get a better relationship with Prussia, just in case, for future needs, and the same with Great Britain. Both of them could be potentially good allies against a strong Austria when we want to move in there. Uh, so we are ma ugh, we are massively increasing our army. No, 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 we can't do it just yet. Um, maybe just five? Five more? Yeah, let's do five more. Uh, let's see what's going on here otherwise. We're building, yeah, that one munition plant. Very cool. Uh, yeah, munition, munition, munition. Yeah, I know we need it. Chill, 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 chill. Have we actually taken back land by defending? Yeah, we're taking back land by defending. I didn't know that was possible. That's really cool. I, I so approve of it. That's really, really cool. Uh, let's get two more. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not get two more construction sectors right there. We're actually really lacking people now. 
Uh, so let's do right there in Jutland. And how is actually our... Wait, is our colony done there? Done, done. Yes, we're actually not progressing anymore right there. So I would love to begin right here now. So we get a bit of like general good. Some bananas, some coffee, some dye plantation. Actually very going to be very useful. Some sugar is also going to be real nice. So we begin down there. Uh, Swedish wind course is isolated. Yes, we're going to build a port right there for them instantly. Uh, we're also going to start building universities there as soon as we bloody can more or less. Which actually might be right away when I think about it. Um, where is universities? It's in rural. No, 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 it isn't. Oh, we already have it. That's that's why. Stupid Daniel. Uh, yes. Both of you are going to get the university ASAP. Very cool. Scania. Oh, wow. You're really losing people. Oh, cool. We're back. We're back at the coastline. Uh, let's see. How are you doing? I'm a bit tempted, actually. Just give them Norway so we can ignore it. Ignore way it. No. Um... I'm gonna wait. I'm definitely gonna wait. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna move. No, 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 no. Let's keep that. Let's keep that actually. Uh, all. Oh, wait, wait. We can just sort by all trade deals in the world. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep defending here for a while longer. Uh, how is that munition plant going? That's going fine. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're fixing everything. It's just taking a tiny bit of time. Uh, you, my dear sir. Wait, actually, can we defend this? Maybe. Let's do escort convoys. Um, Norway, sure. So you can... Yeah, yeah, we are taking almost no losses. Almost no losses, and they are just having terrible, terrible damage. Um... All right, not the most optimal progression, as I'd hoped. Um, well, no, of course I didn't hope for this. I hope for a better one. I hope for a clean victory. Of course, Austria. Ugh. They're barely getting anything from this, but they're losing more and more. They're losing more and more and more. We can just sit back a while longer, and eventually we will just be able to push in, take all from Denmark, and we're going to be all good. Like, we're not losing too much by doing this, honestly. Oh! Oh! There we go! Wow, that was a lot faster than expected. Heck yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Who's the really good guy? Uh, you're the good guy. Okay. You're gonna defend... No, 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 wait. You're... Are oh, you gonna try to advance there? Yeah, I think you are gonna try to advance there. While this guy... Naval invasion right there with... Um, this guy. So we have both Swedish and Norwegian troops. They are right here trying to defend or push forward. And we are pushing forward right now. And we're going to have that naval invasion coming in there taking that. And we just succeeded with our colony growth. So I just want to do like this. Establish colony. 71 days. Fantastic. Going a hell of a lot faster than other people now. We are going to definitely bump up here as soon as we can. But we need a bit more bureaucracy. Let's try to fix that as soon as we can. By the way, we want a secular administration. I completely forgot to change that. And we are going to get the one built where we have a lot of people, I guess in Jötaland. I want to keep one in everywhere, but uh, I don't know, role-playing reasons maybe, but since they have low amount of pop and yeah, yeah, because they have low amount of pop, I'm not gonna build it there. Uh, let's see, so yeah, we're moving into Denmark right now. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, I was so sweaty right there, like, are we gonna begin this with a loss against Denmark? And I'm never gonna be able to live that down. Oof. All right, let's see. Military production is not looking all fine and good. Uh, I'm going to get rifles right there. Make sure we produce a few more of those. We are building some ammunition right now. But we need to finish this war and then we're going to upgrade our army. Uh, wait, did you fail that naval invasion? Maybe you did. Okay, let's just have you join in here and push the Danes out one way at the time. And yes, we're definitely going to pick the one that gives us 4.5. 5k. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> Rivalry still with them. Improve relationship. Trade agreement. Oh, we have a trade agreement with Prussia? No trade agreement. Uh, if you have a trade agreement with someone, uh, the 
tariffs are lowered or for free or something like that. No, we're not going to do that. Everyone who trades with us shall pay as much as possible. And yeah, there we go. A massive amount of radicals now because we took over. No, no, we're not going to do that. But we are... No, we're not going to become protectorate either. I was going to say we are becoming allies or non-aggression pact. If you don't want to do any of that, then I don't care. So, we are going to jump in here and we're going to incorporate our new states. Uh, just to double check that we didn't get anything else. We are going to go in state actions, incorporate state, Swedish and Gaul. Yes, we need to do that one too. Uh, 55 bureaucracy left. Very cool. And let me guess, we can't do this one now. Yes, we can. Cool. Uh, all right. What else? Yes, more research is definitely needed. And that's most likely we're going to focus on. Wait, what the hell is this? Did I start production of four of these or something? Oh no, of course, it's from the new territories. Uh, are we just gonna finish this one, maybe? And we can ignore that one? Yeah. Oh, we right, we got all that extra bureaucracy for free now. So we don't actually have to build any. And this seems to be taking a long, long... Oh, right, because we don't have actually a full production size on it. 20 versus 1.2. So we're good, we're good. Uh, how many... Construction sectors did we take? Uh, we took one. Very cool. All right. We also need to do the great action of reset production methods. I want all of you to do the same kind of production methods as I am. So that's all good and fine. We're also going to go in here. Millet no. Buildings. Development. And we're going to finally upgrade our infantry. So now they're going to start using ammunition. And that's going to make the guys, well, owning the munition plants very happy. So now we're actually producing something. All right. I think I'm I think I've been saying all right a lot this episode. If anyone has counter on that, that would be pretty funny. Uh wait, did we get home affairs? I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that. Uh public schools? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Did I say yes? Yes. We need to get public schools so fast, please. Uh oh, you want steel now? I could start producing steel. Yes. Oh, I said yes again. That wasn't part of the joke right there. Um, I think it might be time to get a tiny bit of steel production up and rolling. Uh, let's begin a production in Jötaland. Let's make that the steel production of Sweden. Um, we are getting more research. We have 65.95. Going to be improved even more. We are losing 10k a month, but that's fine. Yeah. All right. Oh, we need to improve relationship more with... Um, Russia, please. Uh, atmospheric engine completed. Squeeze that a bit more. Or 3.5k for... Just go for research. Go for research. The more research we can get, the better it is. Uh, we might need to increase our arms production just a tiny bit. Where do we have our arms production for now? Here. Uh, cash reserves. Oh, because you need steel. Right, that was why I never do steel in the beginning. <sighs> oh, why I didn't upgrade this. I, I thought about it and I thought about it. Uh, ugh, very high. Yeah, wh what are you gonna get? Like, if it reaches 100% uh, maximum progress, 68. I was really worried because that really sounded like the rebellion sound from EU4. And I was like, wait, we can get rebellions now? <laughs> uh, that's gonna go down quite quickly. Our standard living is gonna go up. And we have a defense pack with Prussia. That sounds awesome. Uh, well, they're actually getting demolished by someone. What are they getting demolished by? Uh, you are war with... Oh, it's just a massive war. You are not... Act oh, you're actually going to get leadership. Yeah, so you're going to actually lose the leadership. Oh, wow. That's a massive difference in military power. You really suffered throughout that last war. So, Prussia is actually going to be on the down low. But I'm fine with that. We just need something from Prussia. We don't need a strong Prussia. We just need... Someone to kind of weigh out and just make us as easy on our target. But as you can see, our GDP loved that war and now it's going upwards. Uh, public school has been... Yes, very nice. <laughs> Quick and easy right there. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see. Colony-wise, how are we looking down here now? A nice little colony here. Great. Great. Fantastic. Uh, we have a port right there. We have a university. And I think I want a bit of dye if I can get that, please. Uh... Ah, oh, damn it. Arm force above all else. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Artillery explosives. Why are explosives bad now? Because munitions plant, of course, need it. 
Oh, this is what I hate and love. Mostly love about Victoria. You build one thing because they need something else and they need something else and need something else. And this nice round eco economic circle. And there we go, Colonial Affairs level 3. So our colony speed should become even faster. Uh, minus 25% from Colonial Exploitation. Oh, wait, what? Tension decay. Starting wages. Minus 10%. Yeah, actually, I, I would love to have Colonial Resettlement. Huh. This would have been better. This would definitely have been better. Better. But, um, well, what do you do? Uh, let's see. That's the event for revolution. 2% pops in Jutland become more radical. 33% there. Or let the percent go ahead. 5% just becomes more radical. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance. I think it was the 2% become more radical. Uh, let's see, anything else going on? How are we doing in general now? Coal is of course lacking and we need to produce that. Engines lacking of course as well because it's Norway doing all of this stuff and we don't have that production just yet. Um, let's get some basic production out of everything then. Yeah, shall we? Let's do it. Um, we have one in Jutland, very good. Uh, we have one dye coming up and we have one chemical. Let's focus a bit more on the chemical actually. We only have one steel plant so you can be reduced in production speed. We are still lacking tools, I would assume. Yes, we are very much lacking tools. So you're gonna now do steel tools. We are not gonna have actually enough steel for that. So never mind, let's push back steel to the very top of the list and see how that works out. I don't think it's gonna produce enough steel for all of this, but um, we might be close. Let's see, steel right there. Oh, I I was like, I really pressed steel, but I must have finished at the same time and it ranks building by like number it has. Uh, let's see, yeah, you're gonna produce more than enough. Very nice. Uh, supporter of other will complain, but will not, but we will act. A more radicalist, yeah, sure, that's fine. In the hands of the state, murderers cries the crowd. Only God uh, and the warden knows for sure. Let us kindly ask the latter. Norland gets 3% devastation. Yeah, sure. Let's devastate a bit more. It's going to go down so quickly. It's like no problem at all. Uh, we... We? Oh, that's your sub. You get Hamburg. We don't have to do anything about that. Very cool. Oh, setbacks. It actually got a setback. Um, oh, right. I'm going to do like this. Uh, declare neutrality. Uh, we still have a, like, defense attack with you, right? Yes, because that was offensive war coming from you. Rural folk are in this, so in discord. Are they, are they though? Let's see, rural folks, minus five, but they are going down. The, both of these are going down and all of these are going up. Very cool. That's helping at least. Should we make them a bit more happy right now? I think we are. Yeah, we are. We're gonna make them happy. Well, maybe not happy, but neutral. Neutral is good. We have a lead mine, and I think it has been built. I thought I saw something here from the capitalists. Um, before, we are gonna double check. What, why am I looking through there? We can just go down and find lead right there. And yes, we have actually have three of them right there. So we should definitely go into our production. We're going to find here and we're going to do... Oh, we can use a lot of it even. I think I will. I think I will. And then we're going to make like two more factories right there. Great Britain want a great trade agreement. No, you're not going to get a trade agreement. If you want my stuff, you are going to pay for it. Yeah, we're, we're going to be good. We're going to be all, all good. And I'm gonna get a railway built right here. After all of this, we don't have we don't have well engines right now. We're gonna get engines right here. So just well plan a bit for the future. And now we're going plus minus more or less the same. So we should be good. 10% uh, of wool of pops and becomes a radical, but I get more assimilation. Or minus 10% assimilation, minus 20% radicals from this. And we piss off people. I am fine with pissing off. I'm going to piss off people. By the way, we should look into that as well. National supremacy. 
Um, I am very fine if we just um, don't discriminate against anyone because I need a population. I need everyone to work harder. Uh, let's see, institutions. Uh, wait, didn't we finish? Yeah, we did finish public school. So that it's probably slow, but sadly now going to start improve a bit more. At least I hope. Uh, let's see, we finished uh, nitroglycerin. Very good. Uh, we might want to focus a bit more military, I'm thinking. Maybe. Or we're crazy and we try to go malaria prevention. Let's see. Naturalist, we're already doing. This would be 9 years and that would be 31 years. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But we can fix naturalism. Let's see. That's 10% more authority. And I would need a bit more authority. I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's see. That's better for steel production, if I remember correctly. This is better for food technology. And I feel I need a bit more food technology right now. No, 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 no. We're going to get central archives. No, wait, wait, wait. That's not the one. That's not the right one I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of... Uh, is it in, no, it should be in society. Uh, where are you? Hello. Steel, mutual fund, identification. No, it, it's in, is it in production? Really? I'm looking to improve my... Wait, maybe that's a very late game tech. Ah, uh, well, let's ignore that then. Let's ignore that then. And I'm thinking that's just painting art. I want to avoid that for as long as possible. Because as soon as you have art, that's all the capitalists care about. Art, art this, art that, art that. And right now, they're actually building proper things for me. Uh, labor reform move, uh, movements. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's make Sweden more Sweden. Let's make it more socialist. But then, uh, if we can, we might make it communist. But... Um, well, maybe not communist, but state-controlled capitalist with public elections. So, um, a bit over there. We have 58 right now. Very cool. And that's with the highest taxes and taxing good stuff. Very cool. Uh, we can't add any more though. Get the expert. 3,000. Is that just a lose 3,000 right away? Because that's no problem. Um, see if that person... Okay, I I'm going to see this. So... Credit, 80k. 83k. Yeah, that's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. That's 100% fine. Uh, we are going to wait a bit after this. After we built everything. Actually, we we're even going to do this. Just pause it two seconds and just redo... Oh, we are only paying 200 credit. Oh, I thought it was going to be at least 1,000 or something. Okay, no, no, never mind. Then just keep building for a while longer. I want to keep my current interest paying to like... At the very highest, 2k or something. Because that's a lot of money for me right now. Uh, where Where is this? Jutland gets more uh, migration attraction. And the upper strata, which are like two people with champagne glasses. Yeah, we don't care. Massive amount, 7.7 .7 million. We almost doubled our GDP this episode. Because I, I thought it was so much fun. I forgot about the time. And we have a 33 minute episode right now. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We managed to pull out a victory right there. I don't know how, but uh, I have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about this. And how is actually my colony going? It's keep growing. Very nice. So we're going to get a, a slightly larger colony right here. And then just keep going as much as we can. Hope you have a good evening, good night, good morning everywhere in the world. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.